So welcome to uh, the results of the Carbon Pi team. Um, this presentation itself is reusable and hosted on GitHub um, amongst our many other materials. So um, here's a little bit of information about what we'll cover. Uh, here are the April Fools themselves, all of us who contributed and uh, those of us who've not been able to be here today, but were part of yesterday's idea session. Um, so this project is solving the problem of delivering carbon juice training in remote locations, but with limited access to internet or materials. So we figure that using Raspberry Pis and carpentries go hand in hand. It's all about bringing the, the kind of coding and data skills to people wherever they are. So Raspberry Pis provide a great opportunity for this. So uh, to talk about the solution, I'll pass over to my colleague. Hi, everyone. So uh, here is what how we plan uh, the Raspberry Pi carpentry lesson delivery will work. We'll have a bunch of Raspberry Pis, obviously. Uh, we need at least two Pis to have the server infrastructure. One is the RASP AP, uh, which will convert a Raspberry Pi into a wireless access point so people can connect to this Raspberry Pi. And there'll also be one or more servers which will run the web interface, which will deliver the carpentry material, uh, a Git uh, Gaitia interface, to, uh, which will be the replacement for GitHub. And there'll also be an admin interface for people, for trainers to uh, register uh, uh, participants and so on. And of course, you need a workstation for uh, attendee. And next. And here is a proof of concept of the Gaitia server, which I managed to just get running on my Raspberry Pi VM. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't manage to get beyond that. Uh, so that's just a screenshot. And now over back to my colleague to carry on. And so one of the things that we thought was important was documentation. And that's a big theme within our project. And to help workshop leaders set up their workshop, we've put together some documentation around what you need to get started and then how you would begin and this links to our various repositories holding the different information each of which has a license and a readme um, and so this is really the, the go-to location in sort of a train the trainers idea um, we've considered how fair this whole approach is we've added the how fair is tool to the workshop admin repository and we plan to add this to the other repos in our um, carbon pie organization and we reached our decisions collectively using emoji votes and discussion. And we've also tracked the thinking behind these decisions in our wiki, which is part of our documentation. Um, so we have a GitHub organization which helps people contribute. We have eight repositories holding different sections of that information. So it's nice and modular, which helps people get a start on where they can collaborate and join their skills. Uh, we have a Kanban board and issue tracking to help people join in so new uh, collaborators can pick up an issue ticket and help join in. Uh, as I mentioned, we have a, a project wiki which really lays out all of the information about the project and where to find these different documentations. And we're following the Carpentries code of conduct within the project. So that should help guide collaborators as well. Um, future work and end of life, obviously there's still a lot to do. We want to involve some continuous integration workflow to help out automatically update the images with the latest workshops. We'd like to use Docker to reduce the number of separate pies that we need to maintain the infrastructure and make it easier to update. And we think that it would be great to expand our admin web page, which is another part of our, our project to a fully functional Java app, which is one of our issue tickets. And so now onto the demo, I'll just stop sharing. Uh, I'll pass over to Janessa. I will try and stop sharing, oh God. I paused it. Um, oh, you're good. Okay, perfect. My stop share button isn't working, so apologies. So am I sharing my screen now? Yeah. Uh, yes. So what you're seeing there is, um, uh, this is running on a Raspberry Pi, and this is called Rasp AP, which is an image that can be downloaded uh, onto your uh, Raspberry SD stick, and you just um, uh, put that in the Pi, and the Pi boots up as a, as an access point. 
So it will need some setting up and hopefully eventually we'll be able to create a already configured um, access point so that there won't be any setup needed, but you can just download the image, put it onto a SD stick and, um, um, and then stick it in the Raspberry Pi. And then, Thank you so uh, much.